Lauren Messiah, your personal fashion stylist here, and it's time for a fashion question. This one is about tattoos. Hi Lauren, can you make a video about your tattoos and give tips on deciding what to get and finding something you won't regret later in life? <laughs> I figured this would be a great video idea since tattoos are kind of lifetime accessories and have to blend in nicely with your personal style. I really want to get one this summer. Please help. Girl, what a great question. And I love calling tattoos a lifetime accessory. That's so cool. I'm using that. I'll give you credit. So tattoos, I love tattoos. And I'm going to get another one this summer too. And the way I think of tattoos, they're definitely a lifetime commitment. I have to say some of my earlier tattoos, I didn't put that much thought into them. And even still, I don't really trip on, oh my God, when I'm 80, I'm gonna have this. Like, whatever, I'll be the coolest 80 year old ever. But it is wise to put some thought into your tattoos and definitely think about how they work in with your personal style. So we'll go through my tattoos. Of course, there's a couple that you can't see. I'll just tell you about them. I won't, I won't strip down here on camera. So my first tattoo, where is it? It's this little symbol here. This I got right before I left DC to move to California. And it's kind of like an inside joke type of thing with a friend of mine. So no one really knows what it means but me and I think that's kind of cool. So that was my first one. I will warn you, once you get a tattoo, it's extremely addictive and you're gonna wanna get a lot more. So that was tattoo number one. Tattoo number two is down here on my hip. Again, I'm not taking my clothes off for you guys, so use your imagination. But this one is the symbol for Scorpio, because I'm a Scorpio and I love being a Scorpio. So that one's down there. You can't see it unless I'm like at the beach or something. That was the second one. What was the third one? Third one, I have maybe on Instagram, there's some pictures of me showing my stomach, but I have five stars near my belly button. And that one's kind of weird. I had these, I love stars and I love astrology and like going to the planetarium. I'm a nerd like that. But I had this like, these weird little scars on my stomach I don't even know how I got them, maybe like chicken pox, but I wanted to cover them up. So I got some stars and it's one of my favorite tattoos ever. That was three. Four, I got this one that says stronger. I'd say out of all of my tattoos, this one's probably the one I regret the most because I got it in a period of my life where I was like trying to be tough, and not like a hard ass and I'm gonna beat anybody up, but I was just going through a hard time and I was like reminding myself to be strong, so I got this tattoo. So whatever, I don't like wish it was gone, but I didn't put a lot of thought into that. And then I have two roses on my back. Those are modeled after the Betsy Johnson roses. So I used to work for Betsy Johnson, so those are on my back. And then my most recent ones, I got these hangers, which I'm sure you guys see in almost every single video, obviously because I work in fashion and because I love fashion. And then last year I got these safety pins because they're fashion related and duh, I love fashion. So now my tattoo theme is more fashion driven because it's what I do for a living, it's what I love and I think it's pretty cool. So my next one, I'm gonna get some measuring tape and then I'm probably gonna get like a pair of scissors somewhere but I put a lot of thought into them like I thought about this one for over a year before I got it so I would say you know take your time and think about it so here's a couple tips to help you decide what you want to get for a tattoo try to have some sort of meaning like a little bit of meaning <laughs> mine have to do with my career you know, past ones, obviously I could tell a story about it, so they have some sort of meaning. So think about that first. Definitely look for inspiration. Don't like copy someone else's tattoo, that's kind of dorky, but find ones that you like and take them to a tattoo artist and have them draw something custom for you. And you can even have them draw it and marinate it 
marinate on it for a couple weeks before you just permanently place it on your body. And also think about what areas of your body you show a lot. And maybe you want your tattoo to be visible all the time, so you put it there. Or maybe you don't want it visible all the time, so you put it somewhere where you want to hide. My first tattoos, since you all can't see them, I did it for a reason. I didn't want everyone to see my tattoos. Now I don't really care, so all the rest of my tattoos are probably gonna be on my arms because YOLO. I can't believe I just said YOLO. Um, but no, I like having tattoos on my arms, but that's a personal choice. I work in an industry where tattoos don't matter. It's an expression you know, of your creativity, but if you work at a bank, that would be kind of dumb. So I don't know, it's a really personal choice. I can't really give you like hard tips to go by. I can just give you my personal experience on tattoos, but they are fun. And if you get one, you better show me a picture of it. So that's my little rant on tattoos. Um, I'll definitely show you guys the next one I get because it will be in the next couple of months, most likely. So that's tattoos. If you have a fashion question for me, you can drop it below in the comments section. While you're down there, grab some of my freebies. I've got checklists, eBooks, special downloads. Who knows what it will be because I'm always coming up with new magical ones. So go down and grab that. And also subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out videos like this three times a week. That's a lot of videos. And if you aren't subscribed, you're gonna miss them. And that would be an absolute tragedy. So get your subscribe on and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you.